It's beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from the White Hag Irish Craft Brewery and it's a can of the Atlantine New England IPA coming in at 5.4% ABV. There's a look at the can. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. It's a 3.30 can everybody. Whoa, look at that, nice bit of smoke on the can opening, a little bit of spillage going on. Not too much, well not, not really any spillage really, not to concern your cream carpet anyway. Uh, the beer was kindly sent to us by Find My Pint. It's an app on iOS and Android, download it and go and find your pint basically. Um, a really good app, um, an app which is growing all of the time. Go and give it a go. This smells delicious, it really does, it smells really good. Now we got a two finger white head, hazy New England color, good levels of carbonation. Should we get the aroma? Really, really juicy, really, really excitably juicy. Oh, this has got mango, fleshy blood orange. It's so juicy. There's some grapefruit, some passion fruit. There's a touch of spice in there. There may be even a touch of pine needle going on. Definitely, definitely like an orange peel. It smells terrific. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows, what a fantastic beer. At first thought, I was like, ooh, it, it was a little bit of a crisp, short, sharp bite that really got you to begin with. And then once that bite finished, it went over into, into your grapefruit, your mango, your citrus. Then there's some, some a little bit of spice that orange peel, that kind of nectarine, juicy orange flesh comes through. It's a terrific beer, really terrific beer. <clears throat> Pardon me. But incredibly drinkable at the same time. Really light and drinkable and juicy but then again there's a touch of oat I get a little bit of creamy oatiness going on Let's get the rest of the can in the glass Yeah, I, I like it. Um, the aroma is really good. It's slightly different from the flavour of the beer. The flavour of the beer is... It's got a, a, a very, very, very small, minute, and I mean, it, it. it's so minute that it actually makes the beer a better beer. There's an ever so small amount of sourness that's coming through. That might be like the sourness maybe from the, the grapefruit and the mango, just the amount of hops is put in the beer. The beer is not infected. It is not infected in one way. Not at all, not at all. It's just, and that touch of sourness, it gives it an extra dimension. It gives it another element to it. but it's crisp, it's juicy, it's refreshing. The carbonation is pushing the beer on the inside of the mouth. Um, water, barley, oats, wheat, hops, and yeast. Uh, yeah, I really like this, uh, really like this beer. Our Atlantine beer is inspired by mythological sea journeys which took 
curious journeys beyond the ninth wave in search of the magical underworlds and the secret treasures they held. Oh. Pardon me. Uh, for this IPA, our inspiration has travelled back from the other lands of New England across the cloudy foam of the Atlantic. That is a look at the White Hag Irish Craft Brewery Atlantine New England IPA coming in at 5.4% ABV. I'm going to rate it, going to rate it, really good Irish craft beer. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.